Mm-hmm. Yeah. And now they uh, think Wendy Williams may actually be crazy. Hey. So did you hear about that shit? I heard now, about that shit. This is this is I, I fucks with I fucks with her family because this is a motherfucking uh, loop that I don't know that they were smart enough to pull. So what been happening with Wendy Williams over the past ten to twelve years is that she's been slowly deriding into what most have believed is dementia. But along with that, certain people who uh, the populace at large, meaning me. <laughs> didn't know why people uh, who seemed to have no bearing over her life had such control. Meaning, uh, I think it was U.S. Bank had frozen all of her funds. Right. Well, right. one of the banks, but yeah, the bank frozen. Now, now we are here 10 years later after watching her slowly descend into whatever it is uh, without calling her any adjectives to what she is today. And now it's like, well, shit, did U.S. Bank have her best interest at heart? Like, what if they wouldn't have done that shit? Like, and so we, we persecuted them at the time, but hindsight is twenty twenty, And now uh, she's in bed with Annie or whatever, and people are starting to think that that is out of necessity. Here, here's where her family came up dope. Like, oh, oh, y'all saying the bitch crazy? Well, how the fuck did she sign that paperwork then? Like, y'all okay, whole she movie okay. is about telling us she's crazy. Your whole movie is about how telling us she she's okay crazy. It. Well, how the fuck she signed that paperwork to for y'all to put it out there? I was like, oh, shit, uh, I think her, I think her I think her guardian signed it or somebody. I don't know. I know at one point um this this most recent documentary that they got one of her um representatives was trying to get it pulled or they they leaked the story that said they were trying to get it pulled. Um we fucking got him. You know me. I'm uh, I'm 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 skeptical to the point where I think all this shit is wag the dog. Um I saw some of it, I didn't watch the actual documentary itself, but I saw some clips. I saw the one that they got floating around with Black China and uh, Wendy. And, you know, Black China telling her, I thank you for all the shit you did for me and whoop and all the other stuff. And I'll be here for you, girl. If you ever need me, call me. And it's like, you know, she can't call nobody. She can't remember who the fuck you are. <laughs> you telling her to do this shit. But in the, in the midst of that whole, you know, thing, it does cross the cynicism in me, crosses my mind. Hmm. She was being milked by her ex-husband, who was with a bitch that he was cheating on her with and got pregnant, who also wasn't nothing. I think this chick was like an assistant of theirs or some shit. I don't know the exact details, but I think she was around around or whatever. But your husband, oh, no, no, I think he was with her for years. Either way it go. Your husband's cheating on you with a bitch, then gets the bitch pregnant, leaves you, and now the two of them are gonna live happily ever after together, spending your money. Fuck that That's shit. Fuck that shit. Now if I ain't got no money, I can't give you no money. When all this shit started happening with her and the the, the, the show got her show went off the air and whatnot, and I think she said this in one interview or some something like that. Uh, in the the, the settlement, it was as long as she had a show on like a major network television or some shit like that. So, man, um, motherfuckers would be crazy like a fox, too. And I wouldn't put that past anybody. Now, reserving that to be my own special brand of cynicism, um, I think it's kind of fucked up to see her in this way. Look at her being all disoriented and whatnot, and then putting it on camera. I don't see the point. I don't know what you want us to think of her when we see her this way. Are we supposed to be empathetic, sympathetic? Like, what are we getting other than she is obviously not well? Why is there a camera in her face? Because that's the only thing that I could see when I watched, like when I watched the Black China part. And there's another interview, another uh, segment that they, that they had where the only thing I could think is, what is the purpose of this? You're just showing us her at what I would 
think is her worst. To no contextual, you know, value of societal improvement. I don't know. Is she supposed to be a cautionary tale? Well, then you got to actually caution us to her shit. If there's a, if there was a, 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 a factor in which she had control of that is responsible for her particular health outcomes, then say that to warn people of the mistakes that she made so they don't travel down the road she traveled down so they'll be all right. But that's not what you did, I don't think. I don't think that y'all are putting it out there that that's, that, that her thing is a self-induced one. I know I've heard rumors about the source of her ailment. I don't know if they're true, though. But is that what y'all doing? And if that is, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. It's not executed in a way that's showing that. And again, this is from somebody who didn't watch the whole fucking thing. So maybe I did, and it's there. But this shit is just a is a bad look to me, personally. It's, it's just bad. It's a crazy world. It's fucked up out here. How could they do it's that to a crazy, it's a crazy world we live in where Wendy yeah. Williams ha, is garnering this type of sympathy. Because it's like, fuck, what damn? Like, I really don't give a fuck what y'all do to a motherfucker to the likes of Wendy Williams, and then y'all go too far. <laughs> it's crazy. Hey, look, I ain't even mad at it. I'm, I'm so, I, I really don't. I'm, I can recognize some shit is fucked up and then also not really care. Like, I'm not going like to. I said, but to be recognized no book, and fucked up behind a motherfucker that people don't really rush to defend. Like, nobody had yeah. any empathetic feelings or sympathy for her I, that I've seen. Well, when I've the gunslinger the gets shot, right now. when the gunslinger gets shot, nobody cries, man. Exactly. So to have us empathetic about this bitch, they had to have gone too far. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of the shit that they were uh billing as incidental, like man, it's too many, it's too many Janet Jackson titties gave <laughs> it made too many fucking uh rip cords in the entertainment industry as far as programming goes. There's no way that Wendy Williams passing out on live TV or on TV should have made it to air. No, um, way. Um, um, the show wasn't live, correct? No, the show's not, not live. Even if it is live, Janet Jackson made made sure that no titties were. Oh ever yeah, come out ever the tape, tape delay. Yeah, even if it is live, Janet Jackson made sure that no titties will ever hit live air ever again. So there was no reason for that moment in her life to be on display. You're right about that shit. Zero. They did that shit on purpose. And that was the first, I think that was the first moment in my life where I had an empathetic thought about the bitch. Like, cause she was really one of those, eh. Cause she was less than fair about he, how she treated people's down moments. Yeah, the, the the health people had health concerns. She would air their shit out. Not a problem. So I mean, hey, look. Yeah. Part of people's personal life, their sex life, she would delve into that shit. So when people dug into her and her husband having a mistress and whatnot, um, you know, it it, it that shit happens. That shit happened like a month. Hey, fair game. Well, crazy world. Sorry, Wendy. 